Welcome to a new video and here we have style your own keyboard with Keys Cafe which is a module that you can download within the Samsung GoodLock application. Now this portion of the Keys Cafe module gives your keyboard a personality upgrade with several options in three different categories. So first we're going to have the keyboard color effect, then we're going to have the key color effect, and then we're going to have the key motion effect. So let's show you how to access these options. First, you'll want to download the Samsung Good Lock application either from the Google Play Store or the Galaxy Store. Once downloaded, you can open the application. Again, Good Lock is an application from Samsung that features an extensive list of modules to customize your device. Before you can use a module for the first time, you're going to have to download it. Once downloaded, you can open the module. Now for this video, we're going to be focusing on the Keys Cafe module, so that's the one we're going to tap on. And we get this nice little animation here, I dig it. Now the menu layout is streamlined here, which means it's generally easy to work with. We're going to look for the option style your own keyboard. Now you want to make sure that this option is enabled by verifying the slider is blue. And then we'll tap on the title itself. Here you can create your own keyboard theme with your own title like I did here, Arasaka, because I'm a cyberpunk fan. But you can also choose from a list of recommendations, one on the right side there and further down below. This list is very extensive if you're looking to get up and running fairly quickly here. And at the bottom of the page we have a toolbar with options. So first we have colors, then we have effects, then we have sound. Now for this video, we're going to be focusing on effects. Now, a quick tip before we go into the options, I like to pull up the demo keyboard. And this is the purple square in the top right hand corner. This allows you to test drive your keyboard as you make customizations. And before we customize these effects, you can also change the color. There is a color wheel about in the middle of the page on the right side. You can tap on that. You can select from a preset or you can create your own color layout like I did here. And then once selected, you could tap done. First, we have the keyboard color effect, which includes eight options. Now this is what's going to happen around the key as you press it. So there are some cool ones here, such as a splatter option. So when you press on the key, you get a splatter around the key itself. Then there's one with uh, dots that go around it. So this is a little bit less obvious but we get some dots around the key as you press it. Now I'm a bit more minimal, so I like the third option here. It looks like a ripple. So as you press it, it ripples from the inside of that key outwards across the whole keyboard. I like that, that looks really cool. Then we're going to have our key color effect. Six options here, and this is what's going to happen inside the key as you press it. And we've got some interesting options here as well. So first we're going to have a pause option. That one looks kind of cute. Again, a little less obvious. You have to look really close here. But as you tap the key, you're going to have a paw right where you tapped on that key. It's very precise. Then we're going to have more basic options such as a whole key fill in, I would call it. The whole key fills in with the color that you pre-selected earlier from that color wheel. You have this option, it looks like blocks inside the key. This again is a little less obvious. You can't really see it on the small keys here. And there are a few more, but for this category, my favorite option is going to be the key is outlined with my color. I like that, very simple. It's effective, it's minimal. And lastly, we have the key motion effect. And this is going to be the motion that the keyboard key makes when you tap on it. Now, pretty self-explanatory here. My favorite options are going to be number three, and that's going to make the key smaller as you tap on it. And then we're going to have option four. That's going to make the key larger as you tap on it. I think that one is a little easier to see here. So that wraps up this video. And lastly, if you haven't done so yet, don't forget to make the Samsung keyboard your default keyboard so you can try out your new customizations. As always, thanks for watching and may the universe flow in your favor. And until next time, Leon check in out.
Yeah. <laughs>